Okie dokie. In this problem, they give us a profit function on the graph with respect to Q, or quantity. And they ask which of the following is closest to the derivative of the function at Q equals 4. So we're looking at Q equals 4, and we're looking at this point down here. But we're not looking for the Y value or the profit value at that point. We're looking for the derivative value, which is just a fancy word for the slope at that point on that function. So the question is, how do we estimate a derivative or estimate a slope at one point? We will always estimate a slope at one point by picking a point to the left and to the right of that desired point. Hopefully, if we can find the points, or sorry, if we can find the slope between 3.5 and 4.5, it should be a close enough estimate to the slope of the tangent line. In other words, the slope right at Q equals four. So what do we do? We pick our X values, 3.5 to the left of four, and 4.5 to the right of four. And we're gonna try to identify the Y values at each of these points on this blue curve or on this function. So this point at 3.5, I would say it's approximately at negative uh, point 0.9, negative 0 0.9. And then at 4.5, we're looking at maybe negative 0.4. All right, let's give it our best shot. We are finding the slope by doing y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we get negative 0.4 minus a negative 0.9 is negative 0.4 plus 0.9 so we get 0 0.5 divided by 1 or just 0 0.5 we're going to find the slope that's closest to 0 0.5 and we get option a so anytime they ask to estimate the derivative or estimate the instantaneous rate of change or estimate the slope at one point always pick a value, an x value or q value, left and right of that desired value, find the y values at those two x values, left and right, and then find the slope between those two points, left and right. And that'll be a good estimate of the slope right at, in this case, q equals 4, or whatever the desired x or q value is.